The Janet's crew welcomes you. Jesus welcomes you. This is Jesus House Aberdeen, where Jesus lives. Congratulations, another year is done and dusted. Yeah, indeed. It's been a great year of harvest and rewards. Yes, indeed. God has really been awesome to us and has given us many reasons for celebration. As a matter of fact, it's our seventh year as a church. And our fourth year in this magnificent building. The Lord spoke specially to Moses. He said, I'm giving you instructions that on the certain times every year, you must celebrate. You must have a good celebration for me and for yourselves. God ordains celebrations. That's why we are celebrating seven years. And it's not for formality. It's not because it's just seven on the calendar. No. This is what God loves. So, come, come with, with us, us as we take you through 2011. 2011. A man or a woman ways to glorify heaven, to show gratitude to heaven, heaven will also find ways to return gratitude to that person as well. So From the first Thanksgiving service to the height of this mountain up till now the crossover service, it's been a glorious ride all the way. Here at the City of God, it was not service as usual. A variety of programs were lined up through the year, including the School of Deliverance, This Is What We Do, Looking Up and Reaching Out, as well as expositions on Halloween and tattoos. Now, it's a lot of people, but it's actually just one couple. And this is the couple, their soul, and this is their spirit. They've come together in marriage union, they're very happy, marriage union, body flesh to flesh. Now, what happens is they separate and they're getting on with the rest of their lives. But what happens is their soul is still joined together. Their spirit is still joined together. As we seek to be good evangelists, good witnesses, we want to do this in a sensitive way. We want to be effective. We want to be relevant. And so we want to take some time to, to look in. What will give us the right perspective on how? Because what we want to do, we don't want to just create an alternative. It's not, there shouldn't be an alternative in that sense. What we want is the people to be saved. Praise the Lord. When Moses was instructing the people of Israel, he told them to write the scriptures and put it before them. So God expects of us to imprint his word into our hearts, not on our bodies. Psalm 119, hide the word of God in your hearts. Let it be your necessary meat. They put it before you every day. That is what God expects you and I to tattoo in our hearts. The word of God. There are also classes for single, courting, and married folks. There were also special ministrations by seasoned ministers. If ever God said it and you can grab it, you can have that thing. We should look up to him and not to other sources that can help us. Because that is what is happening. When God will decide to visit with you, he will nullify, he will destroy, he will break every hard situation in your life. God will help you because he's the helper of the helpless. Everything that God created, both visible and invisible, they hear, God says the Lord. In science, they told us living things are the only one that can hear, right? But not living things here, thus says the Lord. Read Ezekiel 37. Dry bone here, thus says the Lord. 
and dry bone came to life. Everything that is dead and dying in your life, in your body, in your marrow, in your system, I speak the word of the Lord. Come alive! Scriptures clearly state that bodily exercise is profitable. How good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Activities in 2011 that literally fulfill the scriptures include the Hill Walk of Lucknagar and the F5 Football League competition. Ladies' fitness classes at Smithfield and the teenagers chill and connect. There are also wonderful spiritual exercises. For example, the All Scotland Holy Ghost Night. The ghost I call the wind of change. The change agent. The one who is with the ultimate power to change the unchangeable. The Holy Ghost Weekend. So you shall request wherever you go in Jesus' name. Wherever you go in your life, you will request. And the Inverness Prayer Conference. Another major achievement at the City of God is we are now officially a campus for the School of Disciples. And to fulfill our goal of reaching out to Aberdonian locals, different outreaches were held by different media at different times. We had an Easter outreach at the Bridge of Dawn. A music in the park event at Union Terrace Gardens. A glass of water, please. Uh, um, no. Water in this time. Can't you see I'm busy? Yeah, like me. Cause he likes me. God likes me. Yo, you are like me. There were also barbecue events. and so much more. Jesus House was able to establish parishes at Perth, Stirling, even here in Aberdeen at Smithfield. This complex we see originally was established in 1895 by the Episcopal Church, or the Christian Church, and the assignment was to evangelize the guilty area of Aberdeen. This is a great day. I believe in the Church of Jesus Christ worldwide. This is a great day here. And what about the new looks? A brand new lectern, donated by someone whose identity remains unknown till date. Whoever you are and wherever you are, God bless you. Another brainchild from the men's group, Anitri, for chat and relaxation. We're, We're proud, proud of you, sirs. Above all of this, the beauty of this house was made complete by you. Yes, you. And the lovely people stood all around you. The Lord delights in you. Then came Penel 2011. Jehovah is intelligent, complete with life-changing ministrations, workshops, choral ministrations, dance and drama, and a brand new exposition of the gospel in poems. Don't expect that in your father's house, you will dispel every darkness and every representation of darkness. In other words, Satan has got nothing in you because the word of God has cleansed you and you now can go out and do the same works that I did. And that is where Jehovah's intelligence comes to work. Because he has been ahead of us for thousands of years. And he is, he's been, and he's already in front of us, knowing what you will do. Pray through the pain, fast but not in vain. Turn off the TV, shut off the radio, get down on my face and cry out for repentance until my face makes an indent in the floor.
the list goes on. A night to remember, held at the City of God campus, Smithfield, was the annual Excel Night by the Kingdom Theatre. It was themed, Come Before Winter. <laughs> No man is born into the world whose work is not born with him. There is always work and tools to work with all. As our pastor would say, the church has risen up to meet the challenges of the society and is an answer to prayers. One avenue by which we met the challenges of the dwindling Scottish populace was through weddings and childbirths. Farewell, 2011. Welcome, 2012. Happy, Happy New Year! Seems we have some dancers in Aberdeen. I like this, I like this. But we still got a couple of dances to go, so don't go anywhere. We're going to take a break, alright? 